Hola, buen dia a todos. Welcome to another edition of Casting Call with Johnny Impreg. I'm your host, Johnny Impreg, and in this episode, we're going to get into the question of can vacuum impregnation seal cracks? Now, I'd like to rephrase that a little bit and say, should vacuum impregnation be used to seal cracks? Uh, I'll start out with the answer is no. You should never use vacuum impregnation to seal a crack. Now let's get into the science a little bit. I'll explain why I say that. Now everybody's familiar with porosity and that's going to form during the solidification process is either shrink porosity or gas porosity. And when that forms, when the casting freezes, that's static. It's never going to move so that when we fill the casting porosity with sealant, that's never going to open up again. That leak path is sealed and the sealant will survive as long as the casting. Now, if you take a look at a crack, on the other hand, a crack forms post solidification, typically in ejection, uh, sometimes in handling after the casting is ejected. But the crack is not static and, and can move. And what will happen is sealant will actually seal it and it may pass leak test. But then when you go to assemble it and torque it down for assembly, or worse yet, when it gets out in the field, the crack can propagate and open up again, and then that will open up the leak path. So it'll fail later on. Uh, and cracks can be a real problem with castings because it can be difficult to detect. You can actually have a crack that's so slight, it will pass leak test to be an impreg candidate. You impregnate it, and it'll seal for passing leak tests, and then it gets out in the field and it leaks. Uh, oftentimes, folks will jump to the conclusion that impreg failed, but on further investigation, you'll find that there's a crack. And some of the programs that we do leak testing and impreg on, if it leaks in an area that we know is prone to cracking, the casting will get scrapped and not even impregnated. So I hope this information is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please, uh, Look me up on LinkedIn or hit me up on WhatsApp and be happy to help out more. Take care and bye for now.